What's happening, people? My people. So, uh, <clears throat> like and subscribe if you're into the truth and you're not afraid of the truth. Booker T. Washington, my hero. Muhammad Ali was my hero until he cheated on Belinda, a woman who was with him through thick and thin. See, I don't get into this. I believe everything Kevin Samuels talks about except about high value men exercising their options. I mean, cheating is cheating. <clears throat> hey, <clears throat> if you disagree, you tell me what you tell me what it's all about, Alfie. Now let's get straight to it. Okay, now let's get to it. <clears throat> there is three separate movements for women throughout history. Really, there's just two. The first two movements were for civil rights. And the civil rights for the first two movements was the right for a woman to control her body. That's why it was called woman's rights. The third was feminine rights. And see, feminine nowadays can be transvestite. You see, that is not about women's rights. Understand this. The first two rights were for women's rights, and it was for the control of their bodies. Sexual control of their bodies. And I'm going to hit you with the straight facts right now. Those civil rights, women's rights, was the right for a woman to control her body so that she could marry a black man. That's what white women have always wanted when it came to women's rights. The right to marry a black man. Not to go out there and work at a job with a man. She wanted to do what God got. She wanted to satisfy God's plan to be fruitful and multiply by marrying the man of her choice that would provide for her the best protection provisions and give her most importantly the best offspring she could possibly have and now we can go back to the 1950s to the early way before the 1950s to the time of jack johnson the heavyweight champion of the world when a black man became heavyweight champion of the world that even solidified a white woman's desire to have a black man because the heavyweight champion was considered the baddest man in the land and this is what women were hotwired dna hotwired to desire and plus interracial babies were beautiful then and are now that's what those movements were about now the feminine movement that's about a woman that's about that's more about equal pay and a woman being a man and not only a woman being a man i mean a transvestite a man being a woman that's all part of the feminine movement and you and women nowadays were were duped and and as women and as white women look back they say wait a minute this is not what i was asking for for a man to be a woman and for me to be called a baby carrier are you kidding me black women fell into this opie dope and started hating the men that god gave them black women started hating the men that god gave them to protect and provide for them and white women had no problem taking their place you look at the women the hot wives of atlanta none of those women are worthy to be anybody's wife now check this out this is very important <laughs> very important <laughs> now when women gain when white women gain their civil rights <clears throat> What did they do in the, in the 70s? 
they started marrying black athletes. The increase of marriages, white women were chasing black athletes. And I'm gonna tell you, and I can tell you this for a fact, white women chased me. In the eighties, white women were on me like crazy. I didn't have to, a black man, all he had to do was walk into a bar or a dance or someplace like that. And white women would approach black men. It's like Kevin Sanyu said, women control sex, men control relationships. So if a man, a sexual who desires sex, if he's having sex with white women and white women control sex, who is giving him permission to have sex? White women. And when they treat him properly, the way he wants to be treated, then he will ask them to marry him. Now, check this out. When you, But then you have shows like Housewives of Atlanta. They were, for some women, I guess they were like fem. This is during now we're talking about feminism. Now for some women, this was like it. It's this hit black women's ego. This hit black women's ego, satisfied their ego, and told them you are worth this. You are worth this. Although you bring nothing to the relationship, you're just worth this because you're a woman. And that's what you hear women saying today. They're thinking in the box and not outside the box. Black women should have vote, should have fought for civil rights along with the men God gave them that they were equally yoked to. But they didn't do that. They went for feminine rights, the right to get out here in the workplace, work, 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 and to try and be a man. And they looked at being a housewife as something horrible. And this was also something that white men wanted to put into white women's heads so that they would reject black men. Because if white, white men looked at it like this, if I can't have my woman, then I'm going to make her, you can't have her either, and I'm going to make her unfit for you too. That's the way that thing was playing out. Then they started making these, um, then they started making uh, movies with uh, white men dating black women. Black men, white men, excuse me, white men with black women. I think one of the movies was something different or something like that. And they started promoting themselves to black women. Now, black, but they never really wanted black women. Never really. They wanted them sexually, but to carry on the family lineage, they wanted white women. White women, to carry on the family lineage, they wanted mixed race babies because black men were more superior athletically. And this goes all the way back to the time of Jack Johnson, the heavy, who was the heavyweight champion of the world. And when he, that's why they wanted to defeat him so bad because he was the example of masculinity. They hated him because of that. And he threw it in their faces. On a side note, Jack Johnson could drive a car like a race car driver. And he raced race car drivers because he needed a fast moving car to get away from the KKK and other white supremacists when he was going down those certain roads and stuff. And he was leaving out of town. He needed a fast car and he needed to know how to drive. In fact, so it should come as no surprise that he died in a car accident. And, it's, and common sense tells you if you can add two and two together, 
he was running from he was running from the police or some white people. But going back to uh, the women's rights movement, the women's rights movement in the seventies they had sexual freedom, but they still needed that some type of verification that they can do what we want to do. And if you challenge this, we were going to fight you. That came with the Kim Kardashian era. What did she do? Was she a great singer? Was she a great athlete? Nope. The only thing she did was have sex with a black man and dare the white man to do anything about it. And they didn't touch her or put her down. And she became the she became the white woman's Abraham Lincoln. She became the white woman's Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King all rolled up into one and they made her a billionaire. And you know it. Because the only thing she did was have, we didn't know who she was until she had sex with Ray J. And she blew up. Fashion, perfume, she could do whatever she wanted to do. She made it. All because she had what? Sex with a black man and there was no repercussions. That was the key. She blew it when she started dating white men. That's when she blew it. Because now she's on the decline. There's nothing special about her. But this goes into the feminist. Let's talk about the feminist movement. See, the feminist movement is not about women's rights to stay home and do what God had intended women to do. Feminist rights is, is about being is about a man, a trans, a transvestite being called a woman. Feminine rights is about is about same sex marriage. All that comes under feminism. Feminism is tied to homosexuality and all this crazy stuff. It's about a woman trying to be a man. That's why you see women getting in the box. I mean, they watch all this crazy stuff on TV, like Wonder Woman and all this crazy stuff on TV. And then they actually think that they could be the man. See, TV is the box. And intelligent people think outside the box because everything in the box is what? It is whitewashed. It is fake. Housewives of Atlanta. They're not housewives. They're not even, they're not even housewife material. I don't even know. They're not even feminists because they don't even work. Most of them just beg, they, they're just entitled women that beg their man, that tell their man, you owe me this, you owe me that because I, because I wear a lot of makeup. But the reality is, and then you hear women talking about how they hate black men. Black women talking about hating black men, the men that God gave you, the men who you are yoked to by God and nature, and you are putting down black men left and right. And then I even heard one woman talking about, well, I make more money than him, so he's not, he's not, he's not up to my standard. Yes, he is, because God made him according to your standard. And the reason why you make more money than him is because of the fact that white women are trying, because black men, excuse me, black white men are trying to hold black men down and make them unmarriageable. And they're doing the best they can to emasculate black men so as to make their women more attractive to them. But they don't really care about black women because you hear about more black women being deleted and beat up by white men than any other group. And then you hear black black white women black women saying 
there is no black man to protect me. It is because you have separated yourselves from your men. And you can see it every time a woman calls. And if you want to see it, all you got to do is turn on Kevin Samuels. Turn on Kevin Samuels and you will see each one of you talking, putting down black men. And then, and he was trying to bring, turn women into women again, and you celebrated his death. The only thing that I disagree with about Kevin Samuels was this exercising options. Cheating is cheating. Cheating is cheating, and no man should cheat on his wife, whether he's rich or poor. All his effort should come should be raising the family. No woman should be cheating on her husband. All her effort should go into raising the family. This is what we were meant to do. Be fruitful and multiply. Black women, don't be... If you say you hate black men, then you should not be surprised when a black man goes overseas and marries Filipino, Filipino women, women from Thailand, Mexican women, white women that know how to treat a man with respect and dignity and understands that a man brings protection to the table. Now, this leads me into one other thing. I'll say this. The most dangerous, the most dangerous thing a black child will have to face is when a black woman marries a white man. That child does not have the protection of a black father, especially if they live in a white neighborhood. A child has no protection because that white woman she has racist relatives and racist friends that that child is going to have to endure and that child is going to have to go go to that school and live in that neighborhood and there is no man to protect that child when a white woman marries a black man she has protection she has jack johnson type protection for that child and for her. Sandra Bland, there are so many, a black woman, I don't know if you saw this on the internet, dog ran into a white man's yard. He weighed 300 some pounds. She was about 120, beat the hell out of her. Just recently, a black woman got beat the hell out of by two white men in a bar and the county would not file charges against him. I mean, there are so many incidents of black women being deleted by black, by white men. It's ridiculous. They tried to say that when a white woman dates a black man, it's some kind of a, this sex thing. It was just this sex drive. It's just unpure sex. She's just attracted to him for um, for jungle fever type thing. No, it is the white man that is attracted to the black woman sexually. We can see that with Kelsey. He dated this black woman and then he dumped her, and now he's with uh, this famous black, this same, this famous white uh, white woman. I'm not gonna say it's wrong or right. But uh, I don't think she was married marriage material because the only thing she complained about was that he never spent a hundred dollars on her or well something like that. That tells you that what she was that she was just in the relationship. She was just ego tripping anyway. And if he'd have married her, he'd have caught hell. That's just the way it is. But I'm gonna end here. You all can fill in the blanks, and if you don't believe me. Do your research. Do the research. Because if you put on the, uh, if you put, you go to your computer and you put interracial couples in there, you're going to see 
white men with black women all over the place. And they're going to be talking about how beautiful this is because white men are producing this. Even if you put, if you put white women, black men, you still going to get white men with black women because they control this stuff. Like I said, Housewives of Atlanta, don't let your daughters watch that. That's insanity. These are not, this is not about, they're not housewives. A housewife cooks, cleans, takes care of her man, and takes care of her family. Housewives of Atlanta, all they do is go out and spend money and try to look cute and throw away money. And they're just entitled women. And I'm going to tell you this. And these, these Filipino women and Thailand women, they're not looking for white men. They're looking for black men. That's what they want. They see the Tiger Woods. They see the Michael Jordans. They see the LeBron James, the Deion Sanders. They see these dominant men and they see them as protectors and providers that black women are kicking to the side. And then when black women see black men, passport brothers go overseas, they say, go ahead, we don't want you. And the white women, Filipinos, Latinos, they say, thank you. Thank you very, very much. See, black women didn't get the memo. The civil rights movement by started by white women was about control over their bodies sexual freedom the right to marry black men and you didn't get it then and you don't get it now and these white men that you were marrying dogging you all out but do you think they're going to put that on it on the news that they control no and if you, and most time, you're not going to marry them anyway. They're just going to use you sexually. Well, like and subscribe. Talk to you all later.